Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Age of Wonders Planetfall where we are about to take on Ortonville. Unfortunately, I don't actually know where Robin Booker is. So taking Ortonville is not going to kill her. Yeah, she's not currently in the recuperating state. So hopefully she'll at least respond to this. Maybe she'll she'll come over here and we can uh, kill her. Because I would love to just be done with her nonsense. Uh, if we move a little bit closer here, can we see... Oh, this is actually a whole army. This is not a hero waiting to be recruited. Hmm. Does that change my move? Do I instead not want to attack? You know what? We don't have any energy right now. Maybe it makes sense to wait a turn. I guess if I wait a turn, there's potentially going to be um, a whole bunch of other units at our, at our throat. Although... Also, if we back off and... Yeah, if we back off and wait a turn, they could run all of their units at us. They could also just run units down from Cornsburg to try to reinforce Ortonville. I'm not sure that they'll necessarily have the range for that. Maybe the play is... We wait for a turn not adjacent to their settlement, but pretty nearby. And in a place where... I don't... No, these guys have infinite movement. The AI can always get wherever they want to get, so... There's no version of this where I can avoid getting attacked by their armies if they want to have at us. We could still attack. We do have the movement necessary. Yeah, I'm a little torn, if you can't tell. Uh, we don't have any combat type operations prepped nothing relevant maybe it's best to just have at them now then again we do this we're like we're fighting this battle and then potentially fighting that battle on their turn I'm gonna hit end turn because I don't think they have the competence necessary to to make the smart move here and we should probably continue moving on the Doomsday thing, but also Tyranodons. The thing about that is the uh, Tyranodons, so we're gonna do that. Okay, you guys are good. You guys are... How was I doing with these guys? So we have... Villain has... What the hell was I doing with these guys? I mean, we want, we want to grab this, right? Velen, Velen does not have enough population for another district. We'd have to get up to 12. I guess we could, we could grab this for Consuel. Is that what I was doing? Yes, that makes total sense. Okay. Works for me. Okay, I still... Yep, I already dismissed these notifications. Thank you. There we go. Alright, we won't have a ton of energy next turn, but we'll have enough that we can at least perform a couple of operations. I'm actually pretty curious what Robin Booker is going to do. If she wants to run out here and attack me with all of her armies, I don't necessarily even think that we would... We might win that battle. I, I don't know that we would lose that. I guess we'll find out. It's about to be her turn. So she's still at war with other people, right? Presumably wherever Robin herself is, she's off fighting other people. Maybe the right play is to move back and try to bait some of these units out. I don't know. I don't know if I think that would actually work. Uh, somebody successfully siphoned energy from me, which is, you know, whatever. Uh, Roto's denounced. Yeah, people are denouncing each other and insulting each other because it's just how the game is. Okay, let's do this thing. We should be able to handle this, I think. The new hero is really powerful. They have more units than it seemed like they had. But whatever, we'll be fine. We really, really, really don't want to use any strategic operations here. And here, it doesn't, like, we don't have to work too hard to keep our units in good shape. It doesn't matter. Uh, so I want to fly forward enough that I can shoot a good rocket next turn. 
Ah, never mind. Fly forward far enough to shoot a good rocket next turn means fly like all the way up here. One, two, three, four, five. I mean, I guess that's not bad. Just go to right here and go in defense mode. They have <clears throat> a shotgun, an indentured, the constrictor has a, only a melee attack. It has it can hit flying units, but it would have to come out here and do it. Yeah, it might not it might not be a good idea to roll that far forward, I guess. You unfortunately are a melee a melee character. So I only have one unit that actually has any uh, <laughs> long range combat capability. I guess we'll take advantage of it though. I'm gonna just shoot rather than going into Overwatch because I want to try to provoke them. And the rest of us can just like be over here. We're gonna want to draw them forward. Is all I'm thinking. They don't really have that much ability to deal damage to flying units, which I think bodes pretty well for us. Okay, so first things first. It feels to me like an opportunity. It's interesting that I have a 55% chance for the shot to land if I put it here, but a 70% chance for it to land where I want if I put it there. It feels like the things about units that make them harder to hit shouldn't have an effect on whether or not you can drop an AoE in their space. That feels a little broken. I would love to... Um, am I am I correct in thinking that this is... It is destructible. I guess it doesn't really matter, though. Yeah, I'm just going to put it right here for the increased likelihood of landing where I want it to land. Kind of a long animation. It is kind of remarkable how... Um, how much health these guys have. Well... I guess I'm just gonna run up on these dudes and have Adam. Who do I care about most? This guy has that annoying thing that he does. You have Bone Crusher, which is pretty strong. And a 15 damage initial strike. These guys are more dangerous. We could try some of this. Like, how, how much am I going to miss the kill by with the hero? Estimated to deal about 26 damage. He'll have 8 health left. So this thing just barely doesn't kill him. Well, this doesn't feel great, but I think I gotta do a full attack. And then also a full attack. And then we have melee overwatch and... We'll rely on our feast to keep us alive. I have been constricted. Okay, this guy has just barely got range on us. I'm not 100% clear on why my uh, chance to hit those guys was so bad. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to eat a melee overwatch here. I Like, I have to back up, right? Because I had to make it less easy for this guy to finish this unit off. Boy, he, they really want him. Do you have another barrel? No, nope, once per battle. Okay, well that should be a pretty easy kill, and then the other one should also be a pretty easy kill. Okay, we got closer to losing a unit there than I would have liked. Alright, I... Ooh. Do I want to keep this bio launcher? Do we need another bio launcher? Yeah, I'll take it, because we're still going to get 35 energy. And then I'm going to sell the Ego Bomb. There we go. Now I have plenty of energy to play with. And you guys should, I guess, just get home? 
like Nasendel is probably a pretty good place for my units to wait. It's, it's probably only a single move from Hoden and also has the teleporter. Uh, Roto insulted you, just couldn't care any less about that. Not even a tiny bit less. Oh, these guys do need to grab, um... Oh no, we have bad Echo Cliffs already. So, Nasindel needs to get to 12 population, and then we'll be able to negotiate for the dwelling. And we are now at integration with them. So... It's only 90. Okay. I don't know how long it's going to take Nasindel to generate that final point of population. We could release Mother's Mountain as like a forward base or something, but I actually I think I like it. Yeah, I we'll just we'll just wait for the population to to appear. All right. Over here. Do we want to do this? They have a bunch of vanguards. I mean, like they have a lot of units, but a lot of their units are pretty bad. I'm not able to skip the militia by attacking a guy who's standing outside the city, but I still want to do it this way because I want to, um... I want to have as many of their units out of position as possible at the beginning of the battle. I'm not actually sure how this... Okay, so it, it always just places them inside the city. The, the actual organization of the units didn't end up mattering at all. Alright, well, we have eight operations points, 173 energy, and a pretty large and complex force... Versus a pretty large and complex force. I think we definitely want to try to close up and take this to one side. That's been a very effective strategy for us in the past. And there's just, there's not a lot of reason for me to fight them, like, full frontal. The way they try to fight me. It doesn't, it doesn't make a lot of sense as a strategy. It's a good way to get yourself shot by a lot of towers for no gain. Alright, so we're going to do pretty simple moves over here. I do appreciate that when I end a unit's movement, it seems to want to select the nearest unit that still has an ability to do stuff. A lot of 4X games have like a really weird and arbitrary unit selection structure. I think this, this makes a lot more sense. I am more likely to want to do stuff with units that are close to where I just did stuff. So good on you, developers, for that. This guy's range, yeah, it doesn't run too far out. I'm not 100% sure what my strategy is. So uh, so much of my strategy depends on their strategy. Uh, they have only a couple Malictors, right? Or maybe even only the one. We could still scan it. The scan is not once per battle. I'd have to run up to here, which is in tower range, isn't it? No, it is not. It is the last tile that is not in tower range. But I'd also have to be out of cover. I'm gonna, um, have the Biomancer just be sort of in the middle. Don't really know what to do with you yet. I think I honestly might just hit and turn on all these guys. I don't, like... I don't really have a plan with, with a lot of these dudes. I guess just be right here. Uh, it doesn't make any sense to do any of this stuff. You come over here and give your morale aura to him, I guess, since he has Overwatch and I might potentially fire a shot. I'm kind of hoping we can get them to, like, fire any combat stims or whatever that they might have. I'm going to just hit end turn, actually. I want to see what they'll do. Okay, they'll start burning operations points. That's pretty good for us. They're using stuff. And they are moving in. Oh, right. I shouldn't have just ended turn. I should have had her run. Okay, there's the nanite injectors. I want to get those burning now. <clears throat> yeah, I definitely made an error on her. I forgot that she was over there. That's fine. It shouldn't matter. So, they've got, we've got a lot of really grouped up enemies here. 
feels to me like a pretty good spot for a Firestorm projectile. Obviously, for maximum benefit, we'd want to put this in a spot where the um, the Pyrex hazard is actually giving us some further benefit. Like these, these guys will move out of those spaces, and then those spaces will never be trod again. But I think it's worth just putting it down. It's a lot of damage. It's a, lot, it's a little bit of stagger. It only staggers the main target, huh? Well, okay, hold on. Let's let's hold off on that then. It is a fair amount of damage for two strat points. All right, what about you? We can move you to cover and have at some dudes. Probably what we should do with you, actually, is move you back to here and mind control the helicopter. Or where can you guys get to? You can get to here. That doesn't give you a shot. Yeah, that's frustrating. One thing that an AI is really good at is considering all of the units on the table. It's really easy for them to make moves like this, where this guy is in this position for like 14 different reasons. It's a thing that would have a, uh, a significant cost to a human player in terms of attention. I would love to get a scan off this turn. Can we get a good scan? Let's see, I don't want to scan flying garbage unit. I know they have a bunch of it, but it's a uh, garbage unit. The bike. The bike would be a good scan. Uh, this does have Demolisher, right? Yeah, so let me think about where I want to position Phoebe. We'll start over here. Um, backing Phoebe up and dropping a Demolisher shot right there. 30 damage. Yes, this will, this will destroy that thing. To open up the Malictor and easily kill him makes a lot of sense. We could, I suppose, instead fire it here. Ooh, I do kind of like that, considering that we think there's a pretty good chance we're going to drop a, a bomb on that guy. That allows us to just kill this dude outright. It doesn't make it as easy for me to get rid of the Malictor, but maybe I don't care about the Malictor all that much. I'm going to do this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this thing over here. So this is right at the edge of the range. If I move at all, I will not be able to get quite as clean of a shot. All right, and then that makes this Firestorm projectile actually not lethal, just a tiny bit not lethal. But he does also surround that guy with fire. It makes it pretty hard for him to move. So it may, be, uh, it may end up being effectively lethal. And then I can shoot over this guy's cover pretty easily. We're not going to be able to do this in a way that completely avoids fire from the turret. I think. Like, this turn this turn will be fine on that, but I, th I think overall the battle, we're going to end up taking damage from that turret. We're going to end up having to kill that turret, probably. But I kind of think we just move forward and start firing on this guy. I'm going to have to bait the enemies into coming forward a little bit. Ugh, man. The very, very small amount of damage. If we hit him, there's a pretty good chance we'll lay the debuffs on. Like, we're going to have to get through a whole bunch of, like, healing shenanigans and... I'm going to have this guy go later, because we're going to want to lay that Manipulate Shield somewhere, and I don't yet know where. Pretty good odds we could just kill this guy. Not with that attack, obviously, but like over the course of the turn, so maybe that's an okay place to start. Yeah, maybe we just shoot... That's not great. I could move that one step forward and get to 40%. There, you know, there's some odds we could kill him, and then I also have the um, I also have the pistol available. Just trying to figure out like how many of these units I'm going to be able to make actual use of on this side. The turret range ends here, so you guys can't hit anything from here. We just have no vision at all. It's a bad time to not have Overwatch. Okay, this is within turret range, I believe. 
No, it is not. In, in this lane, the turrets only really go to that. So I could run pretty much out in the open. And just shoot that guy. Obviously, that means this Huntress is going to get mauled. We do need to pick a direction here. So a bunch of these units are just not going to be useful in either lane. That is a real shame. Alright, I'm going to step forward. Open up on this guy with the 40%. Okay. And we're just going to let the Malictor live, I think. I don't know that we really have a choice. Uh, okay, you can safely run up to here. That thing's going to have to be a flanker slash distraction. <laughs> I do feel a little bit bad about that. Is the Malictor biological? It is. So we could just try to take it over. And not this turn, because running up there this turn would... Well, it only provokes one ranged attack, huh? This guy's just, uh, he's not quite far enough forward. We could run up to here and throw the mind control attempt over the uh, over the cover since it has two range. It would be pretty powerful if it worked. I'm gonna go for it. I think we're gonna have a hard time making any use out of Emma here. Okay, so she is gonna eat Overwatch. I was hoping that the fact that she was in proper cover there was going to uh, make it a little bit less of an issue. Alright, but she effectively killed a unit on her turn, so good for her. And then, uh, we don't have anybody else who can do anything on this side. We can try advancing. I, right now, that thing will be able to shoot the Malictor if it wants her. There's a pretty good chance that all this guy's going to do is eat turret fire. Where do I have to be to mind control you? So, uh... One, two... Three, four, five... Or, or here. Except, obviously, not. Uh, one, two, three, four, five... Okay, so here works. It also puts me in a terrible position in regards to the rest of these enemies. But the mind control potentially buys us some time. Again, it's not like we're reducing target density, but we're also giving them stuff to shoot at that doesn't actually harm us when shot. And we can make the area a little bit more a little bit more target dense, just to complicate things for them. Uh, this shot is probably pretty bad, but we could run up... We could run to here. Or even here, right? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we could run to here and just make it a blind. I think that's what I'm going to do with this unit. Okay, that's awesome. You just don't have anything from anywhere. See, we, did, we have a cluster of Huntresses here who are not going to be of any value. And then Leonida needs to... She needs to get involved somewhere. Or she needs to at least be ready to get involved somewhere. And we need to decide if the Biomancer is throwing a heal. I kind of want to go for the scan. kind of want to go for the scan on the bike. Which we could do from right here, which is not in turret range. And I should have done this before doing the, uh, doing the tactical op. We could have gotten, like, a couple extra points of damage out of it. That's, uh, not figuring out everybody's moves before making any of the moves is definitely non-ideal. I think I'm going to have Leonida fall back and support on this side, because we have more units available over there. And then we'll, like, have you do the same, and these two Huntresses will, will, will make for this side. I don't want to group up too tightly. Because they, they definitely have tack points left. I don't want to put her back too far either, though. I guess I'm going to do this. She's not um, she's not adding extra units to the targeting area for the, the tactical strike on that side. 
And you guys, I think, are not going to move. I know this is a, like a non-ideal position. But anywhere we, anywhere else we move her is going to end up being a problem. Okay, a strength 8 mind control. I think this is probably the space... Oh no, it was giving me... Oh right, I forgot these guys were even a uh, target. Now I think we want the, the gunship, right? Yeah, the gunship has the rocket. Fifty-eight percent. I wish that was a higher number. Okay. It worked. Took a little bit of overwatch, but not bad on the whole. Alright, let's see how they respond to the, uh, to the traitors in their ranks. Okay, pretty much the way I was expecting. Oh hey, he absorbed all of the turret fire and is still alive. So I'm gonna have to do even more stuff. That guy did just run into a fire. Nice of him to do that. Honestly, that was pretty good. Pretty good value for that robot overall. They're having a hell of a time killing that thing. So the Malictor has been unmind controlled, but he didn't get a turn and he's very close to dead. Some oh you you have become catatonic for one turn. Alright, that's fine. You can pretty much just stay where you are. Uh, we might we might have him fall back and take cover, I guess. This is cover against some things. No, you know what? I'm not going to. He's going to stand right there and be an obvious threat. All right, what do we want to do here? Let's let's have a look at you. Let's start with you. So you are catatonic. You are also targeted. Yet not being able to use any abilities at all is a shame. I am not allowed to use the rocket launcher in the space that I am standing in. Could kill this guy in one, but I think if we want to have a chance of this hero surviving, it's probably better that we try to slow these guys down. I get the hero's in a lot of trouble no matter what. Maybe the right move is just go here and shoot that guy down. Let's see, the injection already happened. I think I'm just going to do that. We'll just shoot this guy down, because he's going to have an easier time chasing her. We'll figure out exactly what we want to do with her later. Uh, everyone on the battlefield is catatonic. Leonetta could just run in there. Yeah, whatever they did that made units all over the battlefield uh, catatonic seems a little powerful. What do we want to do here? How do I want to do this? We probably want to kill the bike. That seems important. I definitely want to make sure we get this guy too. Is he? He's not afflicted by anything, right? How am I going to make sure that happens? Okay, well, this is pretty easy. This unit only has one thing it can do, and it has a pretty clean shot, although not clean enough. You have very limited range on your attack. Okay, what we could do... Do we have a single point damage thing? No, we do not. All of our damage... Uh, all of our damage abilities cost two points. But we could do like a Firestorm projectile here, which will kill him and also do some damage to the other bike and also make it just hard to hard to traverse the area. Which I guess is what I'm going to do. Don't want that guy getting off any of his ridiculous magic. And then we can spend pretty much everybody else's abilities here uh, just working on this bike. 
is going to take... Oh, no, actually. His shots will be enough now, and then the hero can be working on somebody else. Yes, I know they're out of range. It's not that helpful to me. What I want to know is how much damage I will deal to them if I get in range. Well, I think Phoebe's going to have to just kind of be in the open here if we're going to try to kill this, kill this dude off. It'd be really helpful to me if I had any idea whether we were going to be successful. So he has 25 health with 4 armor, which means that no, we are not going to be able to kill him no matter what we do. So maybe it's just a back off. The catatonic thing only lasts one turn. It really is just affecting everybody, huh? Alright, on this side... I am safe to run right here and do melee. Let's do that. Get my melee overwatch up and everything. And then, is Phoebe the only person left who has actions? Yes, she is. After this, it's just a lot of moving. We could we could hit this guy with the laser lance in the hopes of applying the burning. Because if we get him with the burning, he's probably dead. Unless they heal him right then. One, two, three, yeah. So moving forward one space would be good enough. It also means that Phoebe's going to get attacked by everything in the universe. But she can't actually die. She'll lose most of her weapons, but she'll still have her bio launcher available, even if she goes down. Even if the Lancer goes down. So I kind of think it's worth it to try to apply a kill. Does he have... Oh, he has nanite injectors. Okay. Well, that does change things. Now let's have you move to here. You move to here. We're just going to try to take some cover... With all of these units. They can't do stuff. Uh, you guys are good. You guys, honestly, are probably good. You can run to here. But that at least maybe keeps you alive. And now we have to decide whether I want to go for this thing or whether we want to, like, fall back and cast a heal, maybe? Like, I could drop back to here and heal that guy, since he's not able to take any cover. I think I'm just going to do that instead. Alright, let's see what they make of it. We've done some good damage. We've caused some decent distractions. That guy just shot us through a building. Line of sight in this game is real arbitrary. I think part of the problem is that, like, um, they're not doing any kind of actual ray casting or anything for their for their uh, line of sight calculations. It's just, like, stu stuff is cover and it's straight hex distances. Uh, so that's why you see stuff like uh, units being able to shoot through buildings, because the, the buildings don't exist for the purpose of the targeting algorithm. And it's a sensible way to do stuff, it just kind of breaks the effect that they're going for a little bit. All right, they have overcommitted a tiny amount, in my opinion. That guy is going to get shot, right? I think it was worth it. Get a kill on a healthy unit. Who do we want to kill next? You do not have a shot right now. If you move forward a little bit, you're going to be in tower range. I mean, we're going to have to... We're going to be in tower range sometimes. Like I said, we're not going to be able to, f to do this whole battle without taking some tower fire, unfortunately. Okay, this is the turn that we want to use that rocket launcher, because we're out of time. Actually, we're not. I can just get out of tower range and probably not be in a lot of danger. Uh, who gets it? I guess that, that somewhat depends on what happens with the rest of these units. This guy is standing in a spot where if I run forward to attack him, I am... Yeah, I am in grave danger. This guy is not. So we may just run up on him. Give him a stab in the face. 
have you fall back to here. Really, just no damage at all, huh? Stupid nanites. I don't think there's anything else terribly important for this for this unit to do. Maybe it's just um We did that to this guy, we could get him to a place where like Firestorm and Laser Strike are both reasonable. Both somewhat likely to kill. But we definitely have to get we have to get another kill or two over here. I think it's pretty important. In order to get out of this thing's range, I need to make it down to like here. And I think I want to. I think I want to get safe. So then... I could use this to soften that guy up. Maybe. Maybe that's the play. Uh, you are probably just going to heal yourself. Oh, that's right. This can't heal you. Well, this is free, so you may as well just do it now. She can't heal herself with either of her heals, which... Makes things a little tricky for her. You'd step out here and have a real shot at that guard. The thing is, I'm not going to move Eleanor in a way that keeps her safe this turn. I'm just not. So, let's start with this. We can open that guy up. I could just, I could maybe just kill him. If we got lucky, we could get this guy pretty low. In a place where Leonida could definitely finish him off. Okay, that was fairly lucky. You are kidding me. That was a pretty bad 80% uh, chance shot there. Okay, you guys can make it to here. It's not enough. We could we could try to we could just try to sleep this guy. I think that's what we're gonna do. Okay, sleep resisted, he's slowed, which doesn't matter. Slow is a lot less effective against ranged units. Yeah, everybody missing all of their rolls really complicates things on this front. Well... I think, I, I think it's... Pretty important to finish off the guard, because... Of course it was a graze. Oof. Boy. Alright, yeah, I guess we just don't... We don't have a lot of options here. Every attack that, that we fired against them grazed after that initial volley. That's frustrating. We have some decent attacks left on this side. What are we what are we trying to kill most here? I guess this makes a lot of sense. Hey, surprise, it's a graze. Did you know that your attack merely grazed the enemy? He's gotta get to the point where a graze is good enough, because you are never going to stop getting a graze. The owl doesn't really have a lot of health. It feels to me like the owl should be the next target. I think we can make that happen. So we gotta move to like... We're trying to stay out of range of the turrets. Gotta move to here. I'm okay with this spot, I think. So this plus the, uh, plus the bow will get that job done. Even through a graze, that would have worked. And then we do have ops points left. So we've got this guy under. Um, that guy's under a melee overwatch that is almost certainly going to kill him. This guy's nowhere near killable. We could stagger that dude. We do have enemies over here still to worry about as well. I'm not really sure what I want to do. Maybe this is a turn where we just don't use an op. 
Uh, protective growth on somebody might be... Honestly, protective growth on Eleanor might be a smart move. An, in an instant heal for 10 might be good enough to keep her alive, considering these guys all have effects on them and stuff. And if she if she is able to heal enough and survive and get out of the other side of that protective growth in one piece, she's going to be in really good shape, actually. We're going to be in really good shape on this front as a whole. Okay, so we have an easy kill here if we... If we think we can survive their next turn. And I guess you're stationary, but not actually, like, frozen. You can do stuff. That's a little inconvenient. We just barely can't get that off. Uh, does this kill? This does not kill. Well, we do still have a heal from the Biomancer as well. Let's do that. I think that's that's a no-brainer. They're in really rough shape. On this front, I think we're just done. Is that... Okay. This tile is safe. Okay, so a bunch of us are just running this way now. Phoebe could run up in here and try to find an angle for the bio launcher. That does get me shot. I could run up in here. I have a slightly better angle and I have some cover from the turret at least. I kind of like this. Maybe getting uh, getting rid of some of this cover. Of course, we also have a, p a chance of a bad scatter. This is a cleaner shot. Yeah, this is probably better. We can clear out some of the cover and also be a little bit more guaranteed to actually get it done. Oh, not quite enough damage, actually. Well, this guy is, is in a place where he is probably dead, though. Yeah. Even with a graze. That's going to be on cooldown for a minute. We got to figure out what we want to do about Eleanor. Do we want to have Eleanor take the shot here to finish this guy off? Do we want to have Eleanor throw a heal on Leonida? I guess I want to do that. So let's have you move this way. Keep drawing those guys forward. Leonida step back back to a place where she can still do this and then we do have a heal for her okay I'm feeling better about this uh, this front now and the battle's basically over at this point we do, do we do have to be a little bit careful with this unit I'm not sure if I could kill him or not I think I might just fall back and defense mode. I'm not like I'm not really sure what I want to do with these really injured units. There's a, a huge difference, right, between them surviving narrowly and them not surviving. Given our rate of healing and everything. I think I'm gonna not use a, an op this turn. We could maybe kill that guy, I guess. Yeah, we could kill him. He he has one shot for like 20? 16? I'm going to let him live, because we might need the op more. The, the op might help us deal with these guys more. Okay, that's totally fine. Also totally fine. Okay, great. They've basically just wasted their turn. So we have that available if we want it. Uh, we do have Disrupting Hack. This guy is a... Uh, this guy is compromisable. Alright, so with him being compromised, he has lowered arc resistance, and he is... Does, is there such a thing as stagger weakness? No, we reduced his, we reduced his uh, stagger ability, but it doesn't actually help us. 
Actually, we don't have any, um, we don't have any arc damage in any of these armies. We do, we have a hero who has an arc weapon, don't we? In, maybe in one of the other armies? Maybe I'm remembering stuff from other games at this point. Is that, where's the line? Oh, that's right, the line's all the way up at cover. This is a totally safe move. This is the guy I'm most worried about. Uh, which is, of course, the reason that they blurred him. He's like the uh, the good unit. We could, I suppose, just do this. Let's see what everybody else has. Is, is this guy's grenade on cooldown? It is. Actually, never mind. He only has one use of it. It's just gone. So I guess one reason to move you is that you are blocking everybody else. You know what? I think I'm one yeah, I'm one space out of attack range here. I could leap in a way that doesn't really help anybody. A bunch of my units just aren't aren't really valuable right now. I need to move forward a little bit more. Let's give you some shields, and then... It's pretty easy to blow that guy up. We have a lot of solutions for that problem. But maybe we should just take one of them now? I think it looks to me like we're going to have to leave a lot of people alive, so I'm going to go for the blind. Alright, and they both landed, which is awesome. We have this to prevent us from having to move up into tower range. How much do I have to move to get a shot on the other dude? I have to get all the way to here. I guess I'm just gonna shoot this guy. We're just not gonna be able to build a kill against the other dude, unfortunately. I try it. Okay. Scattered and hit an enemy, at least. <laughs> Take cover behind the hero, even though it doesn't work that way. I'm surprised that the Axe Beak uh, survived the battle. They managed to actually do some stuff and also not get shot to pieces at the same time. I thought for sure that dude was a sacrifice. <laughs> Stupid reactive shielding. Okay, we can't quite get range. I guess just get over here where maybe you can get range next turn. And same deal for you. This has been a productive turn, though. Sort of doesn't matter where I put you. We could go all the way over here. They don't have any area effect, uh, attacks left. Yeah, they spent all their grenades and everything. Sure, come over here and serve as a distraction. It seems like the AI really likes to shoot at heroes, so... We could do this. Honestly, this might kill them. So, like, they'll either have to run out of the Pyrex while taking damage, or stand in the Pyrex, and I assume take damage. But also, I kind of think we could just go without spending the energy. Okay. Easy enough. Okay, honestly, our losses were not so bad. It was, it was an it was Emma and a Huntress. This is mine now, thank you. So for right now, we can just fold you back into this army. I think that puts us in a place where we can we can survive a counterattack without with us having lost that little. Although we do have a lot of units that are injured, which is, of course, not ideal. 
Uh, I'm going to go ahead and grab Assisted Breach now. I know she's not the commander of this army right now, so it's not doing anything at the moment, but she will be the commander of her own army soon. You do not actually have the ability to upgrade. I don't know why I'm even looking at that. Okay, so Granite Peaks for... Consuil. Yeah, I don't care what Roto thinks of it. He's already going to declare war on me. What is the DNA Vault is right. Bonus experience. Yeah, that's that's a that's a good thing. That's a thing that's good enough. Okay, so they do have an army over here as well that I didn't know about. I'm not really afraid of that. So they have what is it? It's six units plus three units plus three units potentially for the counterattack. And they're all pretty low tier. I think I think we would be okay. Yeah, I think so. Okay. So now that she's missing her capital, does a new a new settlement doesn't get determined to be the capital, right? At this point, if Robin is ever put into the uh, into the recuperating state before she gets Ortonville back, she just immediately loses the game, I believe. So hopefully whoever's, uh, whoever's fighting her right now takes advantage. We have lots of access to the dwelling of the, uh, of the Paragon. Okay, I think they are, they are going to go for it. Huh, apparently they got a bunch of extra units. Didn't we see their armies as 6 and 3 during that previous turn? Where did they get two extra units for this army from? Well, I mean, I guess it doesn't matter. And also, uh, thankfully, they're not very tough units. But now we have, like, we have the positional advantage. We have turrets immediately. They're in bad shape here. So how do we want to work our heals? So we have a fair number of heals that we should spend in, uh, right this second. This is a buff for three turns, which is enough time for us to get some work done. I'm wondering about casting it now, or maybe maybe we should hold off until next turn. Let's heal you, and also you, I guess? We'll do the your turn, then you have your heal, which could be spent on one of these Huntresses, probably. But I don't think it matters much which one. And that's all of our that's all of our all of our castable heals. We still have a healing spell as well, a healing tactical operation. Does it cost thirty to do that? I can't write. I'm not allowed to look. You should definitely still be able to open that menu and look at your operations. Taking up the cover positions doesn't give us the benefit that it gives to every other faction in the game, but we still might want to do it because I want to just I want to draw them forward toward the uh, toward the towers, right? Offer them the opportunity to spill blood. Mm -hmm. Look, look at all this blood that's over here. I guess we know she has tactical, uh, we know she has shredder bomb, so I should be a little bit careful about my positioning. You, I don't know, man, wait here? With this guy not benefiting from cover at all, it feels a little silly to put him up here, but... I mean, this, this spot? <laughs> he just obliterated the cover. You know, you gotta appreciate his enthusiasm. Oh yeah, we do have this heal. I should definitely use this. Uh, who wants it? You want it. That one will come back, right? Nope, that's also only once per battle. Okay, not bad on the whole. We managed to get all of our, almost all of our units back to full. Well, almost all of our units back to almost full. If she loses this battle, she's just screwed, right? Because unless she has a lot of stuff in the fog very, very nearby, we're going to have healed before she can bring anything else against us.
the way they choose to animate misses by like having the unit shoot further away makes that sequence look really silly where he gets two shots and then he decides to turn for no reason. Uh, we could do something, but also we could just like not do something. I guess this guy's going to be able to shoot our turret. We don't make a move, we're just taking damage. This has a seven tile range, but we don't actually have to move forward. Although if I did move forward, I could shoot it there, which would be pretty good. An entangle on that guard makes him useless. I kind of like that. Let's do that. I'm going to, since I'm putting myself in a little bit of danger, let's shield up and then... Okay, the other guy resisted the whole thing, but that's... Honestly, the it was way more important that this guy get hit. And then do they have anything that's that's just mechanical? I don't think we're... Okay, they, they do have a couple of these soldiers. Sorry, they have one... No, two units of those soldiers. So we should get Eleanor over to that side of the battle. She can steal somebody's brain. What do I want you to do? I kind of want to do that. Like, just move forward a little bit and make that happen. Because we should get this on cooldown now. It's combat stims. Combat stims are great. Okay, well. It's not where I wanted that to go, but it's not bad. And then from here, we have one, two, three, four, five. I would not quite have blind range. So I think we'll just um, we'll just keep a lot of these other units in their same locations. If I run forward, we can get some scans off. What do I want to scan the most? Probably, um, probably one of those, right? A Malictor? An Initiate? Whatever the, hell, whatever the hell those things are called? Where can I get a scan on one that's, like, pretty safe? It's actually not easy. This spot definitely prompts them to use some AoE stuff over here. There's three of these guys on the field. And we're about to make proper contact with them, that seems right. Uh, at the risk of maybe causing myself some damage here. Let's move some people in so we war cry for a little bit more. And then I guess we could just move them back out <laughs> to, the, uh, to their safer positions. I'm going to have you move to here. That's That's fairly safe. Although I guess... Really, she should be further back, and it should be you in a forward position, given the health situation. Alright, here's where it really begins. They do so love to fill us with despair. Set up a pretty good grenade area for them. There's at least a chance that turret... Well, never mind. I was going to say there's at least a chance that turret could just kill that guy. Should be pretty great. Okay, so he's very killable. You probably just have him, right? Yeah. And then over here, we want to try to get a mind control on the healthy soldier. So we're going to have to move forward one space. Pretty good. That should be distracting. Don't know why they didn't pop the nanite injectors with him before having him run forward. Hey, everybody, it's me, that guy who used to be your friend. Okay, one downside is that has not left us with a lot of targets for the people who are on the right side of this battle. I think we're getting pretty close to the point where uh, the beak is going to start running forward, though. 
Hold on, before I make any more decisions, how are we going to deal with this? I mean, I guess... I guess actually a firestorm right there seems like a pretty good way of getting something done. This complicates life for a lot of those guys. And then now that that's like that... Alright, one down. Uh, we definitely shoot at one of these guys who's a little bit more in the open. I think we can probably finish him off. Probably should not use the Razor Beak. Ah, uh, you guys just barely don't have range. Well... Have you run over to here? They spent a lot of their grenades in AoE, so I, I'm not too afraid, I think, of grouping up like this anymore. Then you can just, I don't know, fire uh, right there. Right there is where I want to shoot this. Well, I mean, you can just do this. I guess that's fine. Just get started on that guy. Are you still entangled? He's going to be able to move at the beginning of his turn, I think. So I don't want to have the Axe Beak just, like, run forward a lot and threaten this guy. I'm going to run over to here. that would be tough for the guard to keep up with. And he's either going to draw that, uh, draw that caster's attention or be able to get a flank off or something. Okay, I feel pretty good about that turn. Not a lot of concern about the soldier in their midst. And a lot of, perhaps, ineffectual shooting it. He intentionally aimed and shot my guy in the back. Did you see that? That was 100% on purpose. Alright, what do we want to do over here? I mean, we really want to take out... These guys, obviously. Running forward like that might be might be real stupid, though. I guess let's start from this side. You don't have line of sight on him. What is blocking my line of? Is it? Is it these guys? I guess we'll just do it like this. Uh, you lot have a pretty bad move available. Yeah, this is not very good, but it does shoot this guy while giving me some... It gives him something to think about. Maybe they'll try to kill this guy off. Uh, man, and then we have this, like, tangle of units that all kind of can't get a shot off. We can do this. We can try to bring that guy down between the lot of us over here. I don't think it makes a lot of sense to shoot at the hero until there's some real chance we'd be able to kill him. Which I think is a, a thing that's pretty far off. Well, that sucked. And what I really want to be doing with her is running down to fight people, but I just can't. The path is too clogged. I go here, we can maybe bring this dude down. Nope, he's impossible to hit. Nobody could possibly damage that unit. There we go. The problem is all these laser weapons. You know, lasers are notoriously inaccurate. You want to be absolutely certain you're going to hit your target. What you want is a good old-fashioned bow and arrow. I'm a little leery of bringing the really damaged Huntress forward. I'm afraid she might get blown up. I think I'm going to just leave her back here. really want her to survive this. 
All right, so I think we are gonna have to perform this. I just don't, we're not gonna have the damage to get all the jobs done over here. If we can just get that guy low enough that that melee overwatch uh, poses a serious threat to his well-being, we'll be in good shape. And that's a pretty good move. Now he's got all kinds of overwatches and stuff on him. Yeah, okay, that did put her in overwatch. Okay, we managed to apply the burning and the choking. Alright. Yeah, those guys are in real rough shape. The only person who's doing well is the hero. And unfortunately, I don't think there's anything I can do about that. None of our operations are really going to stop him. Is he still... He is not nanite shielded. So I guess we have that going for us at least. He has sadism, which we I, I don't think is an issue for us. He has immunity to stagger, so we can't use an operation to even take his action points. I think we just pass. Some pretty solid shooting. Okay. Pick those guys up exactly as we thought we would. You guys can get your shot, but also please get out of everybody's way. It's that pain mirror thing. That's not a uh, that's not a temporary effect, right? That's just just how he is. Where is that coming from? Here we go. It only affects units attacking within three axes. Well, I think we're gonna run over and shoot at him with our big missile launcher. Yeah, and I won't, I won't be blocking anybody by doing this. Try to destroy all of the cover that he might stand behind. I failed. It has just a little bit too much health. Let's see, you could run over to here, where you would have a shot. Wouldn't do a lot of damage, but like this might be a blind. We, we might make that move for blinding purposes. We have a lot of opportunity to blind him, actually. So what we might want to do... See, he doesn't have a grenade. Block a Lock the target in a cage of their own Discord. Yeah, you ever get a notification on Discord and you just... I get that. I feel that. I feel where that's coming from. Yeah, I guess let's just start hammering at him. It's going to take a while. And then units like this one, who has... Yeah, we're going to be able to just barely move into range. With you, we can consider the blind. It's not super likely to land. But it was probably better than taking the one shot. Hack this guy down very, very slowly. <laughs> that said, we might get him. We do have a lot of a lot of ability to hack at him. An arrow right to the beard. You would think, being as coated in metal as he is, that the arrows would not be terribly effective. But they're just very good. Our Fletcher is beyond reproach. Well, we could go take Cornsburg, I suppose. If we go take Cornsburg, then these guys probably retake Ortonville. But you know what? This is a small enough army. We could send one of our units to go go take Cornsburg and then um, bring them back. And the other the other army can just hold Ortonville probably probably pretty safely. It might be worth building a, um, a vision thing. Just throwing down some vision over here. Popular support for our wars. People are getting tired of being at war forever. Uh, let's put it here, I guess. Okay, just trying to see if there was any backup coming. And the answer is no. Those guys are completely out of luck. Uh, I think this is maybe a pretty good place to stop. We didn't get a lot of, like, game turns accomplished here. But taking over another player's capital is momentous and is definitely going to have a huge effect on the outcome of the, uh, the violence on this continent. So what I'm saying is I feel pretty good about it. That's going to be it for us for today. Thank you all so much for watching.
Uh, come back next time tomorrow to see if we can figure out, figure out where Robin Booker is hiding and finish the job. And we'll see you then. <laughs>